We can't breathe without plants around us. They take in the air that we breathe out and change it into oxygen, which we breathe in. But how do they do it? Now this is a recipe for grandmama flour. First, you take some water. Then, you add in some CO2. Then, you put in secret ingredient, sunshine. Okay. This process is called photosynthesis. This is how plants make food for themselves. And as they do that, they take the carbon dioxide we breathe out and make sugar for themselves and oxygen for us. Plants do this in very little things called their cells. Inside of cells, everything we need for life is done. Photosynthesis happens in what's called a chloroplast, which are inside of their cells. Plants aren't just important for oxygen. We also need them for food. In order to run or play, or do anything else really, we need energy just like the flowers. But we don't have solar power strapped to our heads to make food, do we? No. We get energy by eating food. The amount of energy we get from a certain food is measured in calories. If you look on the back of a package of food from the supermarket, you can see how many calories are in it. Sugary foods like candy and soda or desserts might give us a lot of energy at first, but after a bit of time, you get really tired. Why is that? Depending on how long you're moving around, energy is taken from different places. At first, it comes from something called ATP, which is made from sugar. And then it starts taking energy from carbohydrates you've eaten, like bread and pasta. Lastly, it starts using up protein and fat you've eaten, like butter or meat or beans. So now we know where plants get their food and where we get our food. But how does food become energy? Here's what we put in. Some oxygen from the plants, a bit of sugar, and here's what we get out. Now this all happens in the mitochondria. So what you're saying is that through photosynthesis, plants make food for themselves and air for us to breathe? Yeah. And cellular respiration is how the food we eat is turned into energy so that we can play? And all that happens in itty bitty parts of cells? Yeah.